So I went to Germany this week. You know, as one does, just a quick jaunt to Germany. I did some German things over there. That is, that is a meaty wiener. But I wanted to make this trip a, a simple trip. I wanted to bring one camera, just one. One camera that does everything. So I thought, what a perfect opportunity to test out Canon's latest camera, the R6 Mark II. And lucky for me, Canon also thought that was a good idea. So Canon, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for making my Germany trip super cool. I remember five years ago, by the way, welcome to Germany, it's freezing here. Five years ago, I shot all my cinematic, hello, all my cinematic footage in 720p60 because it's the best my camera could do. And now we have cameras like this, like mid-priced cameras that do this. And when I say this, what I mean is on this camera, if I want to vlog, I can shoot it in 4K24 on a full frame sensor with a flippy screen. You gotta have the flippy screen. If I want some spicy B-roll of the trip. I can shoot in 4K60 for slow-mo footage. Using that full frame sensor, no crop, in a cinema gamut log footage for color grading. Maybe I wanna take some pictures of German stuff. 24 megapixels. I'm printing this one out, putting it up in the studio. But here is the kicker. Here's why I specifically asked for this camera. I wanted to live stream from Germany. Well, well, wait, wait, we need to back up here because I made a video three years ago where I, I begged camera makers. I said, hey, see this little USB slot? Can't we plug it into the computer and just send a video signal? Like turn this thing into a webcam. Check this out. Take a look. Single USB, in fact, I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> Single USB-C cable coming right out of the camera, going directly into the computer, and now everything about this shot is recorded directly in OBS. The video and the audio, single cable, single cable, full 1080p. While I was in Germany, I was able to live stream and then I also did a Japanese lesson over Skype on this camera and I didn't have to bring a capture card with me anymore. But there was no software or drivers that I had to download. You just take a cable, plug it from your camera into your computer now this thing is a webcam. By the way, this is a feature called UVC protocol and cameras are finally in the year of our Lord 2022 being built as UVC devices. Do you know how bad I wanted that years ago? It's still pretty new. Very few cameras have UVC protocol built in, but as far as I've found, the R6 Mark II is the only one that has not only that, but also can do 4K 60 full frame and can shoot higher photo resolution than my phone. And that's the whole reason I decided on this camera for Germany, just to be like my one-stop shop device. But I'm really looking forward to the future where more cameras have UVC built into it. But that brings up an important question. What about older cameras that maybe some of you already own? Because you can't go back and retroactively add UVC protocol into these cameras. It's not something you can do with the software update, so what do you do? Well, Canon has actually made two other solutions for you to choose from. I don't know how many of you remember this, but back in 2020, beginning of the pandemic, Canon was the first one to create a webcam utility app that allowed you to connect your camera to your computer via USB, capture the video signal, and then forward that signal over to OBS or Skype or Zoom or whatever you're using. And now they've just released another option called Canon EOS Webcam Utility Pro with a good sized handful of new features just in case you need a little bit more than what the free version has to offer. For example, this is not Canon's webcam utility app. This, this is the built-in webcam on a laptop. This, this is just for dramatic effect. Actually, this is Canon's EOS webcam utility app. This is Canon's R10 with a 24 millimeter f1.8 lens. And similar to the last setup we were doing, it's connected to the laptop with one USB cable. The only difference is because it's not a UVC device, it's actually connected through Canon's EOS webcam utility app. And because this is the pro version of the app, we can do a couple extra things that we couldn't do before. For example, Hey, real quick, Future Harris here. Uh, I realized watching back here, I misexplained something. So I wanna clarify one detail real quick. I made it sound like there were two versions of the app, a free version and the pro version. That's actually not true. There is a single app that Canon released. It is a Canon EOS Webcam Utility Pro, and it is free to download, it's free to use, and it works the exact same way it has for years, where you can plug in any supported Canon camera via USB, it captures your image signal, and then it forwards that video onto whatever app you're using, whether that's OBS or Zoom or Skype or whatever. What they've done is they've added a new subscription tier that adds a bunch more pro and cool features. And that's what I was about to explain to you. I'm gonna let Past Harris explain it because I think, I think he's gonna do a better job anyway, so. 
Take it away, past Harris. Yeah, if we can do a couple extra things that we couldn't do before. For example, we can have multiple camera angles now. Look at that. So if you want a top down shot to go along with your direct shot, you can actually get up to five camera angles connected to this app. You can even add another UVC device like the R6 or just a standard webcam directly into the app or even connect using Canon's wireless system. The pro version also gives you 60 FPS support, digital upscaling to 1080p, and you can even control your camera like the exposure settings from the app itself. And with that multiple camera support that I mentioned earlier, you can actually set up multiple scenes and layouts right inside the app. So if you're doing some kind of presentation over Zoom, you can have all the different angles like the top down, the whiteboard, whatever. There's a pretty long list of features that they've added to the pro version of this software. So I'm going to put it on the screen here so you can take a list of the side by side of the pro version versus the free version. If you can pause it if you want and take a look. The pro version of this app is $4.99 a month or a year subscription is $49.99. Yes, it's a subscription. I know there's going to be a handful of you that aren't super hyped about that. And that's fine. This software is just another option to provide new features to people who wanted those features. And if that's not you, both the free version still exists and Canon is releasing UVC cameras. The point is, I'm always a fan of more options. That way, the new users are definitely getting what they need and the previous users who might not have had those features are being given some of those features. That way they can opt into them if they want. It sounds like a win to me. Either way, I'm so excited about the future of cameras. Cameras are getting so stinking cool. Canon. Can't thank you enough for sponsoring this video. I look forward to seeing what you come out with next. And as always, happy streaming.